and determine whether the given information results in one triangle, two triangles or no triangle at all. Solve any triangle that results. So we are given side, side and angle. So let's draw a triangle, it does not have to be exact, just A, B, C, where lowercase c is uh, 2, b is 7, and angle b is 140. So solving means we need to find this angle, this angle, and this side. OK? So since we are given two sides and one angle, we can use sine law which is by the way sine a over a equals sine b over b equals sine c over c out of these three fractions we're going to take two fractions at a time angle b is given so we need to choose this now we can choose any other ratio because oh not really because only side c is given okay so we're gonna choose these two if we choose first and second a is unknown lowercase is unknown as well we don't want to have more than one unknown at a time otherwise we cannot solve so taking the last two ratios sine b over b because angle B is given and side B is also given equals sine C over C lowercase c is given from this we should be able to find value of C let's see that is using this sine B sine B is 140 over unknown b equals sorry b7 my bad sine c over c is 2 let's cross multiply do not use decimal value for sine 140 yet okay and since we are trying to find angle c let's let me write this way first okay cross multiplying Seven sine c equals two times sine one forty. Sine one forty is a decimal number. So sine c equals divide both sides by seven. Two sine one forty all over seven. Then now we can find value of the c angle. So c is in fact sine inverse of this whole junk 2 sine 140 all over 7 now use your calculator and enter everything or if you want to use decimal for sine 140 then write at least six digits to get better approximation using calculator this C comes out to be 10.58 okay so c is 10.58 but when we take sine inverse and get one angle there is a possibility of another angle as well or the second angle is always 180 minus whatever we got from the calculator 180 minus 10.58 and then this is in fact when we subtract we get 169.42 Okay, let's see if we are able to use both angles or just one angle if we look at closely one angle is already 140 and we know that sum of three angles is 180 but if we write 169 then 169 plus 140 or oh, that's way more than 180 so this angle is not possible Sometimes this can be possible, okay, if this is like just like 20, 140 plus 20 would be fine. 
Uh, let's see here, this 10 is fine because 140 plus 10 is just 150. So we'll get one angle, one triangle. So we found C. So angle C is, so let me write over here. Angle C is just one, 10.58. Now what is left to find? So we have now angle C. This angle is found. And sum of these three angles is 180. So A is just 180 minus sum of other two. So we can easily find A. Then angle A is 180 minus sum of other two, B and C, B plus C which is 180 minus B is given 140 by the way plus C we just found 10.58 now use your calculator add and subtract from 180 we get 29.42 degrees so A is 29.42 degrees Okay, now what is left to find? A is found, angle C is found, now side A. To find side A, uh, we can go back to law of sine and just use any two now, because that involves A, lowercase a. Maybe first two, because angle B is known, side B is also known, angle A is known, only side is side A is unknown and from this relation we can find side A. So sine A over A equals sine B over B. So using oh, to find lowercase a by the way we are using this using sine A over A equals sine B over B or we can use sine C over C as well because we have C and C as also known. We get sine A is 29.42 degrees, this is A, over side A, that's unknown, equals sine B, B is 140 over lowercase b, uh, lowercase b is 7. As usual, when we have one fraction in each side, we just cross multiply. So A times sine 140 equals 7 times sine 29.42. Okay, this is a decimal number, by the way. And to isolate A, now we divide by sine 140. 7 sine 29.42 degrees all over sine 140. Okay, now use your calculator. Just enter everything one time. If you want to do separate, then you need to write at least six decimal places. 7 times sine 42 all over sine 140 and that comes out to be 5.35 okay now I'm going to go back and write down here in this list of answers A is 5.35 okay and let's try to make sense of our answers okay sometimes we might find something not good so a is 5.35 so we found this 5.35 okay let me write in this way 5.35 uh, c is 10 this angle is 10 I just want to want to test when you have the biggest angle the opposite side the corresponding side should be the largest so in this case 140 10 and a is what uh, 29 so 140 is the largest that means 
seven should be the longest side and that's the case a is five c is only two and this is 10 this is 29 so 29 corresponds to 5 10 smallest angle corresponds to shortest side so our answer makes sense and so we have these three sides so one triangle we got one triangle case and we solve we found the remaining three sides three parts